Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be doing my thoughts and opinions about the Alcatel 3L and if it's a good phone or it's a bad phone so we're doing it about the pros and the cons so without further ado, let's get on with the video and off with the pros my first pro is going to be that it's got a really nice design my phone did get mistaken for the iPhone X by one of my friends that just makes the phone look really great it's like got a really nice minimal look it's got three cameras at the back with a flashlight and a fingerprint. It's like, doesn't take much space. It's got a very big screen and a little like front camera it takes little space. So I think that is great because the bigger the screen, the better it is. My second pro would be that it's got a nice camera and it's got quite a lot of filters and I love the filters. They just make your great. Like, Photos look amazing. You can choose what you want. Like, there's like a grey one, a more vibrant one, a more like a vintage. So it's a huge variety you can choose from, and I love it. The camera itself is amazing, and it takes great photos in my opinion. And my try is going to be the battery. I really do like my battery because it lasts between one to two days, like or full charge. However, on my iPhone Seven, I charge it three times a day to get less time on my phone than on this one so this is great for a busy person or someone who likes to spend time on their phone like me who are just too much tiktok so if you spend a lot of time on your phone and you need a good phone that you're not scared that you've got 30 percent because you'll know it lasts you to go to town or go like a quick shop you don't have to be worried that your phone is going to die because it will last you perfectly enough time I really like pro that. about this phone is that it's got a fingerprint. This is the most quickest way to get on your phone. I mean it. Like one, two, maybe even three seconds and you're on your phone. It is way quicker than having to stop whatever you're doing, turn your phone on, slide, type in your password and then you're on, which can take about 10 seconds. I know it's not a big deal, like seven seconds difference, but when you're in a rush and you need to go on your phone quickly, it is a big difference. For example, I'll show my phone case. I hold it like this, hold it about like this. I just lower it down, press it, and I'm on my phone. It's that easy and quick. This is why I love a fingerprint. It is quick access. So if you're a person that's always in a rush and you need like to get on the bus pass or get something quickly, the fingerprint is the best bit. Like I think more phones should have a fingerprint thing. Fifth pro about this phone is going to be that Google Assistant has its own button. It's probably one of the quickest ways to get what you need, like whatever information you need. So, by showing my phone case, it's got a whole button. So you press it and it just starts speaking. And in a couple of seconds, you've got the information you need. Instead of having to go on Google, typing it in, maybe doing some spelling mistakes, which I have to then retype it which can take forever. It's really long if you just need a quick access to some information. So that is why I really do like the Google Assistant as a whole button to itself. This pro about this phone is gonna be the storage. I right now have 64 gig on my storage, so I, that is plenty. Compared to my previous phone, the iPhone 7, I had 32 gig of storage, which is just about enough. And I had to always get rid of a lot of games and photos. Whereas on this phone, I don't even have to be worried. I've got 78 apps, I think, on this phone. And I've only used up 40%. So I've downloaded a lot. I've got quite a lot of photos and I'm still not even 50%, which is amazing. You can get 64, I think, or 128, which is a lot. Yeah. The next pro about the phone is that it's got a big display. This phone is pretty big. It's got a 6.22 inch screen display, which is big. Compared to my iPhone 7, it was like half of a display. And plus, the phone has like borders. Like, you know, in the iPhone 7, it's got like a like, um, border, so it's got the screen, but it's not the phone. This phone doesn't really have that. And the notch, like the little notch where you take the camera, takes little space. So watching YouTube is like watching it on a mini TV. It's like this big. It's great. This is the eighth pro now. This is going to be, it's got a nice grip. So this is my hand and this is like playing this on my phone, my phone case. It's quite nice. It's a nice big grip. So 
finger there. So this is like a nice grip. I really do like it. So my iPhone 7, I feel like my hands would be like properly wrapped around it. This one it's not, it's like a grey. It just feels super comfortable. And it's light. This one is really light. Like when I picked it up, I'm like so light compared to the iPhone 7 or pretty much any other phone. It's light, it's got a nice grip to the nice phone. pro about this phone is that the wallpapers on this phone are amazing they're also beautiful they've got loads i'm going to show you after here i am screen recording to show you the wallpapers so this is what the wallpapers are you get to choose you can add your own ones like your own photos but this is the wallpaper it comes with so they've got this one and that's what it would look like with a home button got this one which just looks really nice so you've got the alcatel like the logo beautiful sand that looks amazing i really do like this one this one just looks gorgeous this one look at that isn't that great quality got this dark one this purple one and this one so it's got a great variety it's got more darker ones more vibrant ones ones of like pictures and settings and so this is amazing these are great photos i really do like the wallpapers the phone is going to be that it's drop proof by this what i mean is when i was carrying two things in this hand with my phone and something else in my hand i accidentally dropped my phone and it went down the whole of the stairs and because coming from an iphone i was like oh my god the whole screen is going to be shattered it's all going to be broken. Because the iPhones do do that. When I picked this phone up, I'm like, please don't be smashed. And I picked it up. And the screen was not even scratched. It had a little scratch, but it wasn't even, like, you know, shattered. It might be because I've got a screen protector. But even with the iPhone 7, if I had a screen protector on, it would be all, like, smashed. And this phone did it, which is amazing. If you're clumsy, or you might drop your phone. So if, you does, if that does happen to you... This one is going to be quite good. It's time to go on to the cons about this phone. So my first con is going to be the night camera. So when I was reading the re reviews about this phone, it said that the night camera was really great. I started to try it out and it wasn't that great. Like I was not in the most darkest room, but it was a bit like blurry, so I don't think the night camera is great on. It's going to be probably because it's a new phone. It's quite hard to find a phone case. So I had to look on Amazon and then on the eBay. And it took me about half an hour to find a phone case. But compared to any other phone, like the iPhone or the Sam other Samsungs, it's quite easy. You can go into pretty much like H&M, New Look. They just sell the phone cases to look for iPhones. This phone doesn't really have that and it's quite hard. But I think because it's a new phone, they'll be coming out more. So I'd settle with this clear one because they either have like clear ones or um you know the flat ones where like you've got one side you have a phone and the other side you can store cards. I personally don't like those, so I took this one and I can't about this phone. It's going to be the volume. So on this phone, the volume isn't really the loudest. So when I'm calling someone and there's someone talking or something going on in the background, I turn it on to speaker, which I usually don't do. But here, as on this phone, I turn it on to speaker to hear someone speak a bit more louder. So I don't really like that because... It's not really that great. Fourth card about this phone is probably going to be the flashlight. I'm not a huge fan of the flashlight because getting used to the iPhone 7, you can choose your flashlight like brightness. So you can have like a more dimmer or more brighter, or you can have the average. However, on this flashlight, you've just got the average and you can't make it brighter if you need to be brighter or a bit more dimmer. So you've got one choice and that's it. It might be a lot, not, not a big deal, but coming from an iPhone user to this, it doesn't seem comfortable and it just seems a bit weird. I can't about this phone. As I said, I'm from an iPhone. I'm going from iPhone to a like 
a Android, it's quite hard to get used to it because like all the functions are kind of in different places and it's kind of hard to get back to using it for like using the flashlight, the accessibility, the settings. It's hard to get used to because they're like different and they're like different settings. Like I've been from iCloud, uh, uh, Samsung, Nokia and all of those are from Android and they're completely like different. So going from Samsung, so I went from Samsung to an iPhone, it was a lot easier, but then going from iPhone back to the Android, it's a lot harder. So that, you might want to bear that in mind. Next con about the phone is that it doesn't have a great variety of colors to choose from. So my iPhone 7 had quite a lot. You can choose like gold, rose gold, black, white, whatever. You can choose those. However, on this phone, we've only got three colours. So there's a great greyish black one, which is one I have. There's a blue one, and then like a black and purple one. So it goes from black to purple. Personally, it's not a lot of colours to choose from, and I think they could improve on different colours. For example, having like a more like a light grey, a dark grey, a black, purple, green, blue, like more colours. Because I think it makes the phone more like interesting and more people want to buy it because it's got great fun colours. I'm going to go and show you the photos I managed to take with this phone's camera. So please enjoy. it for today's video i hope i helped you out with choosing a phone so if you're gonna get this phone or not so now you know the pros and the cons about this phone so i hope i helped you out so please like subscribe and turn notifications so you'll be notified when i upload bye